in dice or in u dice sometimes we face a peculiar kind of problems of the which is generated due to the bifurcation of a district or bifurcation of a block or shifting of a school from one block to another block or shifting of a school from one cluster to another cluster in that case what happens is the peculiar problem is that the school code changes the school code which is a unique 11 digit school code given to each and every school that is that is changing year year by year and due to which we are not able to compare and we are not able to compare one school the existing school with the previous year school because the school codes are changing in some cases not in the mo not in most of the cases the school code remains same but in some cases where the bifurcation is happening like one block is split into two or one new block is created with the uh, schools taking from three or four more blocks in that case the school code changes but from this year we had introduced a new unique u dice code which is independent of any village any block any district so what happens is what we have to do is and we are create we had uh, we are terming we are we had given the term as u dice code we had given it as a u dice code which is collection of which is comprise which comprising of which is comprising of two digits for the first first two digits for the state code then next four digits for the year of establishment of that particular school <coughs> so the first six digits will be collection of two digits for state code next four digits for year of establishment and then next five that means which are the last five digits these are for the unique running sequence number for the school within that particular year of establishment so this unique u dice code will be attached to each and every school and will never change even if we move one school from another uh, one school from one block to another block or even if we bifurcate a district even if we bifurcate a block or even if we create a new block or a new state altogether then also the unique u dice code 11 digit unique u dice code will not change even though the school code will change please also remember that the school code and unique u dice code these are only for the software terms these are not to be remembered so how to create unique u dice code for each and every school also remember that this unique u dice code will be created at the state level not at the district level that means which also means that district users or the MIS person who is the using the data of a district at district level they will not be able to generate the unique u dice code for their for their schools only the u dice unique u dice code generation facility will be given to the state level mis level state level mis so to initialize a unique u dice code for each and every school just start the school database module click on continue type the username and password in which you had entered the you are having the data of your state all the districts data should be there then login into that particular user and select the district and academic year the academic year for which you can generate the u dice code should be 14 2014-15 you will not be able to use this facility if you are using the academic year as 2013-14 so select the 2014-15 and click on continue now to generate unique u dice code what you have to do is you have to just go to the codify menu and then you can click on unique u dice code but before that it is mandatory that it is needless to specify that for each and every school you should have a year of establishment which also means in another terms that unique u dice code will be generated only for those schools which are having year of establishment four digit valid year of establishment in the database so please 
make sure that each and every school in your database is having a valid correct authenticated four digit year of establishment to generate unique UDIS code go to codify menu and click on unique UDIS code and click on create it will ask for the confirmation are you sure to create unique school codes just click yes and it will start creating the unique UDIS code for each and every school in your database I will mention again that the DIS unique UDIS code 11 digit unique UDIS code will be generated for each and every school but only for those schools which are having a valid year of establishment correct authenticated year of establishment should be given for each and every school until and unless you give valid year of establishment four digit year of establishment for the school the unique UDIS code will not be generated in more in some cases we had seen in the past in the database we had seen that the year of establishment is given as 1700 or 1600 something these are not valid year of establishments we had also pointed out earlier also and in the inconsistency module in the database all these kind of inconsistencies where the data is not correct data is not validated data is incons inconsistent all those inconsistencies are already been highlighted to you and in the past you are able you were able to modify all these inconsistencies now please make sure that before creating a unique UDIS code for each and every school in your database you had provided correct authenticated and validated four digit year of establishment for each and every school once four digit year of establishment is given for each and every school then you can use this option and when you after processing some after a process processing while the system will say that process of creating unique code is over are you sure to view list of schools with unique school codes click on yes to see the unique code or you can click on no and again if you want to see the unique code just go to codify click on unique UDIS code and click on show now this will present you a report kind of thing which says this is the DICE school code again it is of 11 digit and it is it has generated another unique UDIS code which is again of 11 digits but the first DICE school code 11 digit DICE school code is dependent on a geographical entities like state first two digits for state next two digits for district next two digit for block next three digit for village and last two is the school sequence number in this case if a district is bifurcated into a new district or if a block is bifurcated into two blocks then this code school code was changing in the past but now we had added this unique UDIS code along with this school code what will happen is even though the you know even though after bifurcation of a block or after bifurcation of a district or in the new scenario if we treat that a new state is created altogether new state is created from the existing districts a new state is created then this code will change but this code will never change suppose this school is now shifted to another block so in that case the state code will remain same district code will remain same but the block code will change hence the 11 digit village uh, 11 digit school code die school code will change but unique u dice code will never change why because this is only having a state code first two digits at the state code as the geographical entity entity and rest of the digits are not related with any uh, geographical entity hence this code will not change and this will be useful for the states districts blocks villages where the bifurcation is taking place like recently in our country a new state Telangana was created from Andhra Pradesh some of the districts of Andhra Pradesh were 
uh, split into a new state now in the code of the first two digits of the Andhra Pradesh was 28 now a new state is created as Telangana the code of that particular state Telangana will be now 36 so how the 36 code will be created that also we can see and in that case when a state is bifurcated into two states then the school codes will change but the die school code will change but the unique u dice code will not change and this will be this feature will be useful for these kind of states or even the districts where where the districts are bifurcated or the blocks are bifurcated or a new block is created from two three more two three blocks or dis villages so this particular report you can print it you can export this data into some other popular format like in excel or xps or any other format or sql also similarly you can sort the data for viewing you can sort the data based on any school code school name or any block name block code now if the state code is changing or a block code is changing or a village code is changing then how you will modify the data either there are two methods there are two methods either you have to delete the existing block and then create a new block with a new code but in that case when you delete a block all the data cascading to that particular block like all the villages under that block all the schools under that block all the clusters under, under that particular block will delete so it is not recommended to delete any entity and instead there is a new feature in dice just go to codify menu click on recode district or block it will bring to a screen where you can recode a geographical entity select the entity to record what you want to record you want to record a state this will be useful for the Telangana users why because the same data set which was available in Andhra Pradesh from that database they can just create another user they can just copy the same data and they can rename the they can record the state or if you want to create a record a district just select a district which you want to record now for example if I am taking 2401 this is Kutch district of a Gujarat state select this particular district then suggest a new code click on this button it will give you a new code suggestion for this particular district that means now how does this suggestion is coming the total districts in Gujarat are 26 starting from 2401 to 2426 now what when you uh, click on the suggest new code what it does is it created another new code for this particular district instead of 2401 now we can have 2427 if you want to rename the district also then we can click on this rename entity and it will be enabled you can type the new name also here otherwise if we doesn't want to change the name we just want to change the code of this particular district just uh, click type the new code and validate and recode click on it it will ask district code to be changed is 2401 new district code will be 247 2427 are you sure to make changes just click on yes and it will start updating the code of this particular district from 2401 to 2427 table by table all the date all the tables in the data base or all the schools all the villages all the geographical entities like block villages cluster schools habitation panchayat municipality assembly constituency parliamentary constituency and city data of all these entities having the code 2401 in the beginning will be recoded as 2427 that means this will record the first four digits of each and every entity entities are as I had already told you district block village cluster school habitation panchayat municipality assembly constituency and parliamentary constitu constituency for all these tables all the data will be recorded for this particular district for this particular year selected year what is the current year 2021 
2014-15 this facility also will be available only for 2014-15 and not before that if you are having that if you want to process this uh, feature on the 2013-14 district 2013-14 year academic year then it will not be possible it will be blocked that means the creation of a unique UDIS code recording a district recording a block recording a village recording a school all these features are only applicable for the year 2014-15 and henceforth these features will be available in DICE but presently what you can do is you can record a state you can record a district you can record a block you can record a village you can record a even you can record the school also so this is how you can record a uh, 